as a little extra video to follow up on the looks at my six millimeter World War II Eastern Front collection, this is how I store them, because that is one of the questions I get asked fairly frequently about all sorts of miniatures. You'll have seen on the channel, and if you haven't, it'll be available here uh, on the card above, uh, that I've done a video on how potentially one could go about storing one's miniatures. Uh, and in this case, what I chose to do was magnetize the bottoms of all the bases. Now I did this relatively cheaply. I didn't commercially buy any bases that necessarily fit, uh, largely because a lot of these bases are different sizes. Um, even though they're all rectangles and squares. And so all I did was buy some uh, fairly cheap, commercially available sheets of A4 magnetic material uh, from a stationery company. I think it's intended for uh, school displays, actually, or, or other office applications. And then what I did was um, use one of these shallow trays, uh, wooden trays that I got from a, a commercial source, um, which I talk about in my hobby storage video, I think from Charlie Fox Trot Models. Um, other alternatives are available, uh, if uh, anyone ref knows that phrase from the BBC. Anyway, and then I lined one sheet in the bottom underneath and then essentially just cut to fit uh, bases for the rest of them and stuck on. They are self-adhesive. I think I did use a couple of spots of super glue in the corners as well to make sure they went on. Um, let them dry uh, and now uh, I've got a perfectly a reasonable storage solution. So all my tanks are very strongly adhered. If you're also wondering why, and nobody's asking this question, but I'll tell you they're pointing in different directions, it's because um, they polarise slightly differently. So, for example, this one, it like is on there, and you can see it slides around. But if I turn it this way, it's not as strongly attached, because uh, the um, magnetism seems to run a certain direction through the sheets, and I didn't keep it consistent through all the different bases. Anyway, that is them all in there, and they're very securely in there. Look, I can uh, give that a good shake turn it on its side and not going anywhere. And there's a sneak peek at the Russians in a similar tray underneath. Um, but it's a very efficient solution. As you can see, uh, two of them fit into one of these shallow, really useful boxes. Um, there's plenty of depth on there as well, plenty of room for them to go in, a bit of space as well so I can lift them out individually if need be, and by the bases if I want to, rather than the miniature. Uh, and then there's enough there to get all my Eastern Front German armour in one level and all my um, Russian armour in the level below. And that is my solution for all of those. The infantry are in a similar tray, along with all the various other vehicles and attendant bits and pieces. Um, but I thought I'd just show you that because sometimes I get asked these questions and it's useful just to be able to visually see it. Uh, and there you go. And then you just pop it on. Happy, secure, dust-free, easy to store. They don't go anywhere when you tip it over. And that's a good test there to see if I've put them all the right way around. And there you go. Anyway, I hope that helps uh, and is a useful adjunct to my other videos. And if you've got any more questions about it or how I put it together, please let me know. In the meantime, happy hobbying.